my sweet little boy. Keeping mom company while she writes. It is 10.17 and I am writing again. I was up until about 4 a.m. last night, uh, but, but I finished my outline beats for the rest of the book. So we are looking at 23 trip. We are looking at 23 chapters and an epilogue. I am currently going through chapter 20's outline beats and writing out the full chapter. I think it will probably be the longest of the three I still need to write. I'll take my four. Uh, should start to uh, go down from there. I'm excited. I honestly don't know if I'm going to make the by end of the year exactly. It might end up being like January 1st or possibly 2nd. Depending how I'm feeling later today, I will probably write a note to my agent to let her know I have not forgotten her and that I will be sending the working draft within by next week early next week. Oh my gosh, early next week. <laughs> I've never looked more beautiful in my life. <laughs> yes, normally people style these on a wig head, but I have come to find that most of my wig heads are actually bigger than my head, which means if I try to style something tightly against my head, it is far too big once I take it off the wig head. <laughs> Cause I have an extra large child size head apparently. So I just, I just do it on my own head. I have so many pins in my hair, holding curls in place. And now we spray it so that tomorrow when I put it in the actual updo, the curls are maintained. Okay, has been sprayed. I'm gonna let it dry, I'm gonna spray it again, and then I'm gonna take it off my head and then put it on a wig cap. A little, little gap. Even, even with what I've got on my head, this is still technically a little too big. <sighs> oh well, I'll make it work, I'll glue it down. I need to get glue tomorrow. Designer, make it work. Oh, what are you doing up here? What are you doing? Are you spying on me? What are you spying on me? Good boy. <laughs> it's tempting, it's very tempting. <laughs> the dancers are rehearsing in here. They look amazing. But I have to go where the radio players are. Which is up through these doors. We are back at the Biltmore. The Biltmore you might know from when I do Labyrinth of Jareth every year. Same company. We're doing an LA Noir New Year's Eve. You see your lights in front of mine. Oh. They're about to come into the fourth turn. Leading into the final straightaway! I can't look! That might be true. <laughs> but the moment you get by me, you are blind. And then you are mine! You might be right, I'm blind, Frank. But I know this track better than anyone. I don't need my eyes to tell me what is going to come around next. Dirk, <laughs> <laughs> Dirk passed him coming down the low side of the track at the front of the turn. And Frank ran into the wall trying to stop him. Speedway! So it occurred to me that this is actually my last daily December because this will be going out on December 31st. I will try to record some of the show tomorrow 
but I might not actually post it till later in the week. We'll see. Um, this has been a great exercise and I, I'm happy I did it. I'm gonna make sure I'm pacing myself and not rushing too hard. And I'm really excited to see where this takes us. And I'm looking forward to expanding in different ways and maybe even getting Angelique a little bit more into my YouTube as well. If she's obviously down for it, I'm not gonna force her to do anything she doesn't wanna do, but. I guess all this rambling is really just to say, thank you for a wonderful year. I hope your New Year's is amazing. And I can't wait to see what we get up to in 2023. Happy New Year. Bye.